Welcome back, dear traders. Our experts are ready to present you with the most up-to-date news, fresh forecasts and analysis. Here is an overview of the US trading session. And this week started with a turmoil in the global markets and the Wall Street was no exception. Monday was named the worst day for the stock market this summer. The major U.S. indexes closed yesterday's session with the deepest decline in the last two months. The Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 640 points and declined by 1.91%. The Nasdaq Composite tumbled by 2.55% and the broader market index, the S&P 500, slid by 2.14% to trade at 4,137 points. In the pre-market session on Tuesday, the leading stock indexes were trading mixed ahead of the fresh data from the United States. They were hovering in the green zone, again in between 0.02 and 0.13%. Given the fundamental background, the S&P 500 is expected to trade in the daily range between 4,080 and 4,170 points. Monday was the worst day for Wall Street since mid-June. The 10-year Treasury yield rose above 3% for the first time in months. The US dollar index jumped above the mark of 109, while the euro became cheaper than the US dollar. All this happened on the back of the energy crisis in Europe, mounting fears over the global recession and the aggressive stance of the Fed members. On the top of that, the leading US banks keep warning investors that the stock market summer is over and it's on the edge of a big collapse. Today, the US stock market is trying to recover from a recent sell-off. The main indexes are gaining ground, but at a very slow pace. Later in the day, markets will pay attention to the Richmond Manufacturing Index, the Philly Fat Non-Manufacturing Index and the new home sales in the United States. Besides, investors will evaluate the speech by Neil Kashkari, the president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis. As for the fast-growing stocks such as Apple, Tesla, Microsoft, Amazon and Meta, the pre-market trading was also mixed, as the range of changes in the price was between minus 0.11 and plus 0.60%. What is more, today another retailer, Macy's, has downgraded its outlook for sales and profit for this year. The company announced that the adjusted earnings in 2022 will be between $4 and $4.20 per share, which is a bit lower compared with its previous forecast of $4.53 and $4.95 per share. The reason behind this is a high inflation and a decline in consumer activity, especially among low-income households. Against this backdrop, the shares of the company lost nearly 1% in the pre-market trading. In the medium term, the shares of a Zoom video also tumbled by 11% following a downgraded forecast for annual profit and revenue. The stocks of the largest banks were also trading in the red today, while the shares of the energy companies began to recover together with the oil quotes. Amid the downbeat data, coming from Europe, the US dollar index keeps trading above the level of 109. It has approached its highest level since September 2002. Given the current fundamental background, the US dollar index may spend the day fluctuating in the range of 108.90 and 109.20, unless the released macroeconomic data shakes the market. The hawkish comments about the, the need to pursue monetary tightening made by some Fed members supported the position of the US dollar. And today, Neil Kashkari is going to deliver a speech that will hardly affect the US dollar index. The fact is that the politician has already proved to be a keen supporter of an aggressive approach to monetary policy tightening. Meanwhile, the S&P Global Composite PMI 
data may give additional information on the US economic condition. At the moment, traders have um, divided into two equal groups. The first one expects a 75 basis points raise, whereas the representatives of the second group think that the rise will total just 50 basis points. Curiously, economists pulled by Reuters suppose that the Fed will raise the benchmark rate by 50 basis points. Meanwhile, the yield of the US Treasury bonds inched down after it exceeded 3% for the first time since July 21. At the same time, the euro, which dropped below the parity level, continues hovering near 0.9933. As for the USD card pair, the Canadian dollar has been recouping losses today after a slump to 1.3050. The currency has already added 0.25%, but the pair is still hovering above 1.30. The daily range is likely to be formed between the levels of 1.2980 and 1.3050. And today's rise in the Canadian dollar could be explained by recovery in oil prices. The asset began rising just after Saudi Arabia warned that the OPEC plus might reduce output to be the stand to tumble in oil prices. Saudi Arabian Energy Minister Prince Abdulaziz bin Salman told Bloomberg that extreme volatility and the lack of liquidity mean the futures market is increasingly disconnected from fundamentals and OPEC plus may be forced to cut production. What's more, the U.S. strategic oil reserves dropped to the lowest level last seen in 1985. The stockpile plummeted to 453 million barrels after President Joe Biden ordered a record release to slash gas prices. Against this backdrop, the brand crude increased by 2.14 percent to trade at $98.56 per barrel, whereas WTI futures added 2.43 percent to settle at $92.63. As a result, the Canadian dollar also gained in value. Meanwhile, today, Bitcoin has been trading at the level of $21,420, increasing by 1.89%. The asset is trying to recap the previous losses and consolidate above $21,500. Altcoins are also rapidly recovering. Notably, the crypto market has not been reached in the news today. The US Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation um, prohibited uh, Sam Bankman Fried, uh, founder and uh, CEO of um, ATX and founders of other cryptocurrency websites from using the agency's name or logo to imply customer funds um, a government insured uh, when they are not. In addition, a report by um, um, Blocks uh, Breach uh, Consulting unveiled uh, that Bitcoin miners sold 21,342 um, Bitcoins in the second quarter. They accounted uh, for 660 percent of uh, what they sold in the first quarter of this year and for about 150 percent of their production between April and June 2022. Judging by the movement of digital assets, they may benefit from the stagnation in traditional markets to make a rebound. If a BTC manages to go above $21,500 and consolidate above this level, it may climb to $21,800. According to the alternative scenario, Bitcoin may drop below $20,800. This is how our analysts see the trading day. We wish you profitable trading. We continue monitoring the financial market situation. Stay tuned and see you next time.